his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go, search diligently for the child. When you found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out. And behold, the star that had that they had seen at its rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Good morning. My name is Father Eric Schimmel. I'm a Holy Cross priest at Notre Dame. Um, Some of the students have arrived, others are waiting. We celebrate an incredible feast day today. And as as we celebrate the the Epiphany, there there are lots of things that we can meditate upon and and we can look at. There are different themes, like, like the gifts that the Magi brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh, they each are symbolic in their own way, and they point to something. And, and there's also the symbolism of, of the star that guided them to the light of the world, Christ. But instead of focusing on all the different symbols, and uh, you know, what I wanted to do this weekend is kind of take a step back and, and take a look at the scene again in general. And, and for many years, I, I, I reflected upon the nativity scene a, as a, a f- way to look at how salvation really started. There in Bethlehem, how our Savior Jesus Christ, born of Mary, and Mary and Joseph there, and, and, and the shepherds with their sheep, and, and, the, the, and the magi, and the angels, you know, looking at, at how the, 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 the real story of our salvation in an intense way began. And that's true. But I invite you to look and to see if there's something else that you see there. Now I'm gonna go back and forth into English and Spanish and, uh, as, I, as I go through some of these things, but is that more than just the beginning of the Christian story? 
este fin de semana como celebramos la Epifanía del Señor, hay, hay muchas cosas que podemos meditar sobre, como los regalos de, de los magos, oro, incienso y mira que son simbolizados. Y, y también la estrella que estaba guiándoles hasta que ellos encontraron la luz del mundo, Jesús. Y todo eso es verdad, pero en, en, en lugar de enfocar sobre los símbolos en la cine de, de Epifanía, cuando los magos llegaron, llegaron de mucha distancia por adorar y venerar al Señor, yo creo que debemos ver y enfocar sobre algo diferente. Viendo la cine, por muchos años yo he estado viendo la cine de, de, de Pesebre como y, y, y empieza de, de la historia cristiana. Pero realmente hay más de esto. ¿Qué vemos realmente en el pesebre? Obviamente vemos María y José juntos, cuidando con tenor su precioso niño, nuestro Señor Jesucristo. Es una familia unida en el amor en el cuidado y el, y el cariño. Y vemos los magos ricos, unos de pie, otros de arreglándose, juntos con pastores, con sus ovejas. Los pastores estaban muy pobres. Están unidos en su deseo de amar a este niñito, de darle todo honor, todo respeto, todo todo amor. Y vemos que no importa cuán rico ni pobre seas. Todos están invitados a estar juntos como una familia con Cristo al centro de nuestras vidas. When we look at the nativity scene, the main characters obviously are Mary and Joseph. And we see the holy family, and we, we see Mary and Joseph with so much love and care and compassion and just caring for their, their precious newborn baby, Jesus. But they're not the only ones there. We also see the kings who came from far away. With, you know, they have their gifts and riches that they're offering, and they, they are there, some standing, some kneeling. But they're side by side with the shepherds and the sheep. And the kings would have been, or the magi would have been wealthy people, and you have poor people. Side by side. telling us it doesn't matter what your financial status is. God came to save everyone, and, and they're united together, and we are invited to be together as one family with Christ at the center of our lives. We also see the, the, the wise men, they, they came from a great distance, And you know, we see in the nativity scene, there are people of different color. People who spoke different languages. And they symbolize being together that this child, the son of God, didn't come to save just some people, came to save all people. When Jesus was born, The Jewish people were expecting a Messiah who would save the Jewish people. That wasn't God's plan. In our second reading, St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians, we, we, we hear that people who are not Jews share in the exact same inheritance with Christ. We are all members of the same body participating in the same promise of Jesus Christ. Our world likes to create divisions. Our gospel reminds us 
that we are all brothers and sisters in Christ. Our scene of the nativity of everybody together reminds us it doesn't matter what your race, your creed, your nationality, your language, or anything else. Christ came to save everybody and to invite us to all be one family, children of God. Vemos los tres magos llegando después de viajar gran distancia y, y podemos meditar sobre sus, sus dones, pero ellos son de diferente color. En el tercero tenemos personas de, eh, y, y tenemos personas negro, moreno y, y blanco y, y, y todos juntos. Y cuando Jesús nació, los judíos estaban pensando que el Mesías va a venir por salvar, salvar los judíos y solamente los judíos, pero nuestra segunda lectura, la lectura de carta de San Pablo a los Efesios, dice que no son los judíos solamente salvados, pero los que no son judíos comparten la misma herencia en Cristo, la misma herencia. Todos somos miembros del mismo cuerpo, con participantes de, de la promesa de Jesucristo juntos. Y nuestro mundo crea divisiones y, y, y que estamos pensando en divisiones diferentes, pero no, la persevera nos recuerda que no importa la raza, ni nacionalidad, el credo, ni nada. Jesús nos llama a todos ser miembros de una sola familia, hijos e hijas de Dios una sola familia. Es importante reflexionar sobre este misterio aquí en esta iglesia cuando venimos a celebrar la Eucaristía. Aquí en esta iglesia creo que podemos ver nuevamente el milagro del nacimiento de Jesús. Al reunirnos en esta iglesia podemos ver que somos personas muy diferentes en la iglesia, algunas personas pueden tener más dinero, otros menos. Algunas personas nacieron en Indiana, en Indiana otras personas nacieron en otros lugares. En esta parroquia tenemos personas de diferentes colores, negros, morenos y blancos. Y en lugar de escoger por morar lo que puede separarnos, Podemos aprender del nacimiento, de cambiar nuestra visión. Meditamos sobre el pesebre. Podemos escoger por enfocarnos en el hecho que todos nos reunimos en esta iglesia para adorar y venerar alrededor de este altar lo mismo Jesús. Venimos como una familia unidos unidos en torno a Cristo nuestro Salvador. I think it's important to reflect on the nativity scene always, but especially as we celebrate Epiphany, and especially as we celebrate in this church. When we gather in the church, we gather in this one church, and we believe that it's like in one faith, and, and as we gather in one church, we can see in a new way something similar to what we see in the nativity scene. And when we come together as one church, especially celebrating a mass like this one, we see that we are different people. In the church, there are some people who have more money than others. And kind of like you know, the, the kings and the shepherds. When we come to the church, we have people here who were born in Indiana. We have people who were born in other states and even other countries. Just like in the nativity scene, there are people who were born in Bethlehem and from around Bethlehem and people who came from distant lands. People of different colors. In, in, in the church we have here in, in our community, people who are black and brown and white. And, and, and instead of choosing to look at what separates us, like the world might want us to, 
we can really come back to the nativity seed and be reminded that God wants us to choose to focus on what unites us. That when we come as church, we come to celebrate and to venerate and to worship the same God at this one altar. We come as one family, united in love of our one Savior. Just like the shepherds and the magi, born in different places and coming from different places and speaking different languages, they came together to be with Mary and Joseph in Bethlehem to adore Jesus Christ. And we are gathered together in the presence of Mary and Joseph and all the saints to celebrate and adore Jesus Christ truly <coughs> present here. The bread and the wine no longer are bread and wine after the prayers of consecration. Christ himself is present. Body and blood, soul and divinity, just like in Bethlehem. An incredible miracle and an incredible blessing to be together like they were. And our gospel challenges us to look with those eyes, eyes that see what unite us and to see that we are invited to be one family in Christ and not just to be one family in Christ here, but epiphany means manifestation. And the Lord invites us to manifest to the world like the star did, like the shepherds did when they went forth, what the, like the Magi did when they went back to their homelands, to manifest through our words and our deeds who we are. Children of God, one family, united by one Lord. May God help us to do so. Como las pastores, los magos, nacidos en diferentes países, hablaron diferentes idiomas, Nosotros unimos aquí en la iglesia con María y José y todos los santos alrededor de Jesús que está presente en la Eucaristía. Cuerpo y sangre, divinidad de Cristo. Hacemos lo mismo como en Belén. Y, y nosotros estamos invitados por el Evangelio por ver este milagro por ver ese milagro y también vivir, de escoger no ver lo que puede separarnos, pero lo que unimos. Y, y también epifanía realmente en griego es manifestación. Estamos invitados a manifestar lo que celebramos aquí, lo que ellos estaban celebrando, que Jesús es el, el salvador de todo el mundo. Y como Los pastores y los magos salieron proclamando lo que ellos han visto. Nosotros estamos invitados a salir de la iglesia proclamando con nuestras palabras y acciones y obras lo que creemos. Que somos invitados a unirnos por ser una familia. Que Jesús es el Salvador de todos. Amén.
ofrecemos nuestras oraciones al Señor. For all leaders in the church, may the Lord grant them compassion and wisdom as they shepherd his people. Let us pray to the Lord. For elected and appointed leaders, may God give them strength and vision in making just decisions. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who struggle with mental, emotional, or spiritual darkness, may the light of Christ break through their burdens and bring them comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. For this faith community, May we be given the grace to hear and respond to all God is asking of us. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who have died, may they rejoice in the eternal light of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. For our parish family and Roberto Duran, the intentions of this Mass, we pray to the Lord. silence of our hearts for las oraciones que guardamos en nuestros corazones. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty, eternal God, we ask you to hear our prayer, to grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join us in singing the offertory hymn number 531. What star is this? Number 531.
Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice into your hands. The praise and glory of his name. For our good and good of all this holy church. Mira con bondad, Señor, los dones de tu iglesia, que no consisten ya en oro, en mira y en sencio, sino en lo que por esos dones se representa, se enmolda y recibe como alimento Jesucristo, Señor nuestro, el que vive reina por los siglos de los siglos. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And as he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, thrones and dominions and all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Santo eres en verdad, Padre, y con razón te alaban todos los criaturas, ya que por Jesucristo, tu Hijo, Señor nuestro, con la fuerza del Espíritu Santo, das vida y santificas todo, y congregas tu pueblo sin cesar para que ofrezca en tu honor un sacrificio sin mancha, desde donde sale el sol hasta el acaso. Por eso, Padre, te suplicamos que santificas por el mismo Espíritu esos dones que hemos separado para ti, de manera que se conviertan en el cuerpo y la sangre de Jesucristo, Hijo tuyo, Señor nuestro, que nos mandó celebrar estos misterios. Porque Él mismo, la noche que iba a ser entregado, tomó pan y dando gracias, te bendijo, lo partió, lo dio a sus discípulos diciendo, tomen y comen todos de Él, porque ese es mi cuerpo que será entregado por ustedes. Del mismo modo, acabada la cena, tomó a Cáliz, dando gracias, te bendijo, lo pasó a sus discípulos diciendo, tomen y beben todos de él, porque ese es mi cuerpo, ese cáliz de mi sangre, sangre de alianza nueva y eterna que será derramada por ustedes y por muchos para perdonar los pecados. Hagan esto en conmemoración mía. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, o Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer him with thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. 
May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. John and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered 